<laughs> and it's working again. It's really strange. Really, really strange. I have no idea what causes this. So I'm very sorry for the um, occasional disconnects. Um. Anyway, so back to where I was. So basically I'm tracking the cost, chip size and so on of every player at each mission which they arrive at. Okay, and this is pretty much what I want to have a look at now. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to use the aggregate command. And uh, I'm going to aggregate, for example, first of all, let's uh, make this a little bit more more verbal um, a bit more more compact so data is exploration mission and we are going to aggregate data total cost by data um, data stars visited and we're going to take the mean of this. Okay. This. Oh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, nice. So, um, a little bit more pretty. Stars visited this and write it like this, maybe, maybe, yes, no. Guess I can. Okay, nice, let's plot it. This is actually a pretty simple line plot where I have um, the number of stars visited on the horizontal axis and the cost of the player ship on the vertical axis. So as we can see we have a very nice progression. Obviously all the ships start at 500, I mean 500 plus the stuff in the bonus pack. and. It seems that most players have a very nice progression along this range and then the progression sort of gets slower later on, okay. And here we have a few outliers. I mean obviously there are very few players who actually get to this point, so this is probably just like the average over one guy. I mean after all this is over 100 stars visited at this point. Okay, so let's find a better way to represent this. I guess a box plot would be nice. Um, data total cost by data deposit stars visited. Yeah, this is basically it, but I guess it's a little bit too um, <laughs> too, too much information on one plot. So let's uh, round this by. How can I use the round command? Huh. Um, okay, so let's make round of stars visited divided by ten. Times ten. Mm, I 
guess this is not working like this, which is a pity. Um, okay, so let's add a new um, a new variable to the data set, and let's call it stars visited rounded. And it's pretty much just the rounded value of the number of stars visited divided by 10 and then rounded and then multiplied by 10. Okay, and then we take stars visited rounded. Nice. And finally, let's make it blue so that it looks ni nicer. Right. Blue. Okay. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So basically, this box plot is pretty much the same as the um, dot and line plot which I had previously, but it gives us much better impression of the distribution of everything. So basically the black line is the median, I think, and these bars represent like one standard deviation around the median. And these notches represent, I think, like 90% interval or 95%, and these are the outliers. So there are many people who, I guess this must be a bug, honestly. I don't think it's possible to have like a 5,000 value ship right at the beginning. But maybe it's a bug. Maybe someone's cheating, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then it goes on like this. Uh, what's your favorite language to write in? Um, uh, I guess it depends. I mean, for small stuff, I prefer like script-based languages like um, Linux command line tools, for example, um, like SCD or ORC or, um, you know, like simple stuff which I can concatenate. And um, for more complex stuff, I guess I'm using Java a lot or like MJava, which is like a dialect which I wrote for, M for Java. Uh, but I also like uh, languages like Ruby or J Ruby and um, other stuff. I used to write in C++ a long time ago, but uh, I haven't really gotten back into it since then. Okay. Mm. Now I guess the question is, what can we learn from this? And I'm not quite sure yet, to be honest. So the players are progressing a lot in the first 50 stars they visit and afterwards progression gets a bit slower. But I think 50 was also about the number most people take to complete the game. So let's look at that again. So yeah, I guess hardly anyone actually plays after 50 missions. So most people have the game finished by then. Okay. So I guess what I need to do next, I guess what I need to do at some point is to match these against the difficulties and against like the explorations which were won and lost by the people. Okay, but first let's continue this type of analysis. So this is the number of stars visited. Next, let's have a look at the module count in the same way as we did at the cost. Okay. Okay. So, players start round here with about 20 modules, I guess. And then they progress until they have about 100 modules at like the 40 star mark. And then it seems to remain relatively constant. Hmm. 
I guess I really need to separate this by difficulty because it's very hard to draw any conclusions from this. I mean, for example, the, the few guys who are playing these really long games are also probably here in the lower range and they have a progression which is just like it. Um, okay, maybe, maybe I will do it um, soon. So, what else do we have? Module count, rate, armor, damage. Okay. Let's just see if we can find something which is odd. Okay, wait. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Ships are actually getting lighter at some point. Huh. This is somewhat unexpected, I think. So, it seems that people are not really increasing the ship size at some point, but they are rather increasing the ship value by replacing modules with lighter versions of these modules, which makes sense. And which is actually sort of what I've intended for these uh, light and uh, anti-graph anti modules. Nice, 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 nice. So, then we have armor, probably not as exciting. Exciting, and we have damage. Okay. So, I'm not quite sure which damage variable I've used for this one. But, um, mm -hmm. but, but the damage output is increasing up to this point, and then it is decreasing. Um, mm, but I guess this is actually sort of uh, like a misleading impression because there are hardly any people who are playing up to this point. Yeah, so I guess I really need to separate these guys from the other guys to really make some informed decisions based on this. Okay, energy generation. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so how do we do it? Mm, I guess the easy way would be to just um, assign one difficulty to every player. Uh, okay, so, so, so let me just briefly say what the uh, problem is which I'm facing now. Um, when the exploration is started, the start exploration, tracking command is called, and I can read the difficulty and the size of the galaxy and so on. But later on, when the exploration mission is called, this information is no longer sent. So I need to somehow match these two data sets. And 